Hello there. So, tallow versus non-tallow. That's a debate that has raged ever since I uh, started wet shaving, ever since I uh, came on the very first forum uh, looking for information. And it's a debate that probably has raged a long time before that and will go on a long time after I stop making videos and you guys forget all about me uh, because uh, it's going to come down to personal preference. Honestly, that's what it's going to come down to. Personal preference and personal experience. And so uh, these are my opinions and my experiences. Uh, and to kind of put that in perspective, there are two kinds of people usually when they approach uh, shaving and uh, uh, things to do with shaving. There's the guy that's really analytical. And he does a, a, a lot of quote unquote, and I'll tell you why I quote the quotes of that scientific study and all of this to reach his conclusions, his facts. Okay. There's a few things wrong with that. Most guys that are doing that aren't scientists the tests aren't what you would call empirical meaning that they're not tests that are without bias or without flaw uh, in the methodology okay or the sample size it, it doesn't matter if you're doing a sample size of one that's still one person's experience. It's not empirical in any way, shape, or form. One guy is not going to get together with himself and test something completely and fully and say, oh, these are the facts and, and they cannot be disputed. That's a load of horse malarkey. Okay. Uh, most guys that are doing that are not scientists. They're just trying to apply a scientific method. I'm not saying they have any ulterior motives. Their motive is to understand nine times out of ten. And they're applying, as best they know how, a scientific or methodical way of trying to figure things out. But unless you're doing it uh, with a group of scientists, you know what I mean? Unless you're actually a scientist and you're doing it in a, with a, a true scientific method, there are things called uh, placebo effects. In other words, what we think is going to be or what we assume things should be, that's going to influence the results that we get. There are also uh, personal biases uh, that creep in even into a scientific experiment. And most scientists... Or a scientific test, not an experiment. But most scientists recognize that there is personal bias, observational bias, uh, and several other biases that are ingrained into the structure of a human being. And, and they try to create tests that factor that in so they can mitigate the influence of that. It's just... There's a lot going on when you try to be really technical about things that, you know, a, a layman that doesn't like me, that doesn't know, you know, that would be a waste of my time to even try that because I'm going to get it wrong on so many levels that it doesn't make any difference. Okay. That's one of the reasons the, the debate will never end. Just won't. Uh, also, there's a second kind of guy. There's a guy that kind of flies by the seat of his pants. That's me. Uh, I go by uh, what I personally experience and what I think caused that experience. You know, uh, and so when I do something like this, when I talk about things like this, I will always tell you this is my personal opinion and my personal experience. That's all that it is. There are going to be guys that watch this video that completely, absolutely disagree with me. That's good. Find your own answers. Don't rely on my answers. Don't rely on 
Joe Blow that's got 50 spreadsheets and all that. Go out and experience for yourself and decide for yourself. But these are my personal experience. Now, tallow versus vegan. What I can tell you, I don't really, because I've tried a lot of tallow and I've tried a lot of vegan. I've tried a lot of the coconut based coconut oil based artisan soaps a lot most of the artisan soaps there's there's tallow artisan soaps that kick rear end too but a lot of the artisan soaps are coconut based coconut oil based vegan type soaps yeah, i've tried them all uh what i have found is that there are fantastic soaps on both sides you know uh no just because the soap has tallow in it will not automatically make it better than a really good vegan soap. From my experience, that's the truth. Okay. Uh, and just because something is vegan does not automatically mean that it's better. You know, because there are guys that like, they prefer the vegan, and there are guys that prefer tallow. And there are guys like me that, although I have a slight preference between the two, there's so much good soap out there. There's so much good stuff out there that there's no way on the face of the earth that I would ever restrict myself to one type. Just not going to happen. Uh, a good tallow soap is a thing of beauty. It really, really is. Uh, it's a thick, rich really substantial oh it's hard for me to describe but there is a substance to the lather in a really good tallow so that it goes beyond most soaps but like i said there were really excellent tallow soaps and then there are just eh, okay tallow soaps not all of them are like that they're just not but by and large, the difference that I have found uh, between a tallow soap and a, a vegan soap in general is, number one, that tallow soap will be thicker, more substantial. Uh, it will a lot of times be slicker, but that's not true all across the board. Uh, and a post shave of a tallow soap is just beautiful. Now, having said that, there are vegan soaps out there, even coconut oil based ones, okay, that are every bit as good as a good tallow soap. There are vegan soaps out there that ride the line between uh, a tallow and a vegan. And if you closed your eyes and didn't look at the packaging, you would not know the difference. Now, I'm not going to name a bunch of different soaps uh, because the point of this video is for you to go out and try them. Uh, so by and large, there, there are vegan soaps the, that the post shave is just as good as any towel soap that I've ever tried. Uh, there are vegan soaps that are slicker than snot, uh, so bad that, you know, I was talking to somebody, I believe it was Jim and G.I. James, he was doing a video, and he was trying to stretch his skin, and you've seen it in a couple of my videos, I'll go to stretch my skin, and the soap is so slick that the cheek will just slide right out from under my fingertips, and some of those were vegan soaps, and some of those were tallow. Uh, the point that I'm making is that, yes, there's a difference. And yes, if you flat out ask me, I prefer a top-notch tallow soap over anything else. But there are soaps out there from both sides that are so good when a, a, uh, an artisan or a company takes a vegan soap and does uh, or creates the very best they can and get the very best they can out of that soap 
there's literally like a hair's difference, if at all, between that and a really good tallow soap. And so the point that I'm making is, look, uh, this debate's going to rage on forever. It really is, for as long as we do this kind of thing. But you do yourself a disservice if you don't at least try both kinds. Now, I know there are some people, well, uh, they say, well, the vegans, I do vegan soap because no animals are harmed. You know, well, you know, a lot of the tallow and stuff that we get, it comes from an industry, it comes from the beef industry, uh, or the pork industry, but I believe mostly beef tallow, uh, but it comes from the beef industry or the pork industry, and, and that animal has already given its all, they've chopped it up in the chops, or they've chopped it up in the roast or steaks, or whatever it is, ground it into burger, or sausage, or whatnot, and what's left is that fat that's left over. And, you know, you can say what you want. You might be a vegan and don't want to eat meat. And, uh, that's fine. I've not got anything against any of that. But if the animal is already given its all, why toss that fat in the trash? The animal is already dead. It's, it's died. Why not take that and... At least use it for a purpose. That's, you know, but like I said, if you're vegan, if you don't believe in eating meat, if you've got a problem with the uh, food industry killing animals, I I respect that. That's fine. But, uh, you know, I like a good steak. I don't have a problem with that. I have what they call a canine. Uh, I was born with it. And it's made to tear meat, so I'm an omnivore, that's what I am, and I don't have a single problem. Now, I think that, you know, if you want to get to, into some of the ethical issues, like uh, cramming an animal into a, a cage that's just barely bigger than that animal is, that's wicked, period. It's wrong, and people ought to stop doing that. There ought to be laws against it. Sorry, that's the way I feel about it. Uh, I think you ought to, if you're going to kill an animal and eat it, you ought to respect it enough to treat it well before it goes. Period. But I'm not. This is not meant to start that debate. So please don't inundate my uh, this YouTube video with comments like that because that's not. If it gets too much, I'll just start deleting comments because. This is not a video about uh, vegan versus uh, beef eaters, meat eaters, and uh, it's about tallow versus vegan soaps. That's what it's about. And if it starts straying away from the topic, I'll just delete because I don't, you know, this is for new guys and for older guys that have maybe not stopped to think about trying something but the new guys you know they're gonna hit the forums they're gonna hit the Facebook pages they're gonna hit YouTube and, and Vimeo and or wherever the videos uh, for uh, sh wet shaving are found uh, Facebook they're gonna hit these places and sooner or later they're gonna run across guys well oh, tallow is the best thing on the face of the earth well, there's nothing wrong with vegan blah, 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 blah. they're gonna find that argument they're gonna or that discussion rather those disagreements and you guys you know there's a lot of stuff about shaving or pretty much anything else look I build guitars uh, there's a scientific approach to building guitars and then there's a what do I hear what do I feel what are my senses telling me kind of thing and there are guys that build and keep track of everything, take notes, meticulous notes, and, and they use scopes, oscilloscopes, and, and they check out the way the top vibrates and look at the graph, and, and, and they even throw stuff like powder or, or dust or something and tap the top of it and watch how it moves and knock yourself out. What I feel under my hands, what I hear, what I feel, uh, uh, about what I'm hearing, all of these things, that's how I build. It's it's a, and so in the shaving world, what you're going to get is uh, a lot of what 
kind of sounds like mysticism or mysterious kind of stuff. And it's just guys trying to make sense of what they taste and smell and, and feel and see. Uh, but there isn't any experts out there. I've been shaving almost five years in this traditional style. Uh, I'm not an expert. Uh, Manic 59 is not an expert. Okay. Sorry, he's not. And he'll probably tell you that. I'm pretty sure he would. Okay. He's got a lot of experience. There's a lot of guys out there with it. But in the end, it's your personal experience that matters. And what, what the goal of this video is, is to say, try it all. Try it all. Don't skip anything that you can't that you can uh, experience. Go and see what it's like. Try it all and come to your own conclusions because those are what's going to matter. You know, uh, I could do a thousand graphs and charts, pie charts, and I, I could present you with all this technical information, all that I want. But in the end, your experience lathering that soap in a bowl or on your face, loading it on a brush, your experience when you uh, put that lather on your face and what it feels like, whether it's going to and sucking all the moisture out of your face or whether it feels nice and moisturizing. And, and, and I would make a comment on that. Uh, most people's lather is too dry. If you put a dry lather, that's why you wet your face before you shave so that you can mitigate that if your lather is a bit too dry it'll suck up that moisture that's already on the top of your skin and not suck it out of your skin so if you've got a soap that is feels when you put it on your face you can feel it kind of sucking the moisture out you need to put some more water in that soap nine times out of ten that'll fix most of that but anyway your experience on how the razor glides uh, your experience on what it feels like when you get done shaving, your experience about that soap slickness, uh, the substance of that soap, uh, the character of it, how thick and rich it is, or, or how, uh, uh, or whether it's light and thin or thick and heavy or light and fluffy or all of those things, that's your experience. And all the pie charts and all the... Uh, empirical evidence and all the calculations and all of that that you get won't make a dime's worth of difference to what you're feeling on your face and you're the guy or gal that's going to decide what you like and so that is the main thrust of this video get out there and experience it try it there's a lot of soap on both sides of the aisle that are not that is not very expensive what i would say to you on that score is there's no reason now if you got the money and you want to i would never encourage discourage you from trying things like martin de Condra and stuff like that okay but a 40 or 60 dollar shaving soap in my experience trust me uh, the shave is not going to be that much different between a good 15 or $20 shaving soap. Okay. Sorry. I know there's a guys out there that are going to disagree with me on that too. It's not, not my experience. And that's what we're talking about is our personal experiences. So go out there and try it all and make your own decisions, but leave room for the other guys understanding and the other guys experience. Uh, and let's get along with one another and state what we like and you know what agree to disagree on some things that's something too and we can learn to do more of in the shave community and not say well this is the only way we could get into that I'm already at almost 20 minutes now on a video I thought would take about five but dude just just get out there and try them there are so many good soaps vegan soaps and tallow soaps and if you're just sticking to one kind and you have now there are guys that stick to one kind because they've done what i'm talking about and they've decided that's just the kind that i like 
and this is what I'm looking for. There's nothing wrong with that. But to dismiss either of those because of hype that you hear on the forums or on the Facebook pages or whatever, or even personal bias, uh, thoughts in your mind that aren't backed up by your own experience is kind of can that's counterproductive go out there and try them there's a ton of them out there now more there's more soap out there than you could shake 15 sticks at right now and the majority of it is the majority of it is really really good stuff don't limit yourself that's the gist of this video in in, in a nutshell do not limit your experience go out and try them all you're going to be surprised and what you see in my opinion. Wow. All right. Bless you. And I'll talk to you later.